Hi, I'm Miki Tebeka. Here at Outdoor Labs, we value your time. So we created this series of short videos, each of them showing a cool feature of the Go language or one of the libraries. Enjoy. In this short, we're going to see how we can use labels to break from nested loops and switch cases. So let's say I have process events, which gets a channel and a context. I'm doing an infinite loop, selecting either I get something from the channel and then I'm handling the event or I'm getting context or done or maybe not okay, meaning that the channel was closed. In both cases, I'm doing a break, but if I'm just doing a break, it's going to break for the case, not for the loop. For this, I'm adding a label named loop before the for loop and I'm doing break loop here and here. Now, if you're going to run the code and look at the debug console, we see that it will actually terminate and not stuck in an infinite loop. 